War Mains would then enter through here, come off a 15 mil copper pipe, coming through an isolation valve. It will go up into the water system tank, which would then cut off when it is full. It would then leave the tank, come down and go into the hot water tank. Enter there, and then as the water gets hot, the hot water rises, and then exits out up here. Because hot water expands, you need to have a vent. The hot water would then come down here and off into your designated hot taps around the house. There is another water system tank for the water boiler. You should then come down here and go into this air eliminator. The air eliminator needs a hot another vent for the hot water. The air eliminator then feeds a pump, which then goes into a three port solenoid valve which then enters the coil, which heats the water up. It then, it then exits, and then goes up through here to the boiler. That's the flow. Then you need the return coming from the boiler. The return from the boiler then goes back down, through there, back into the air eliminator, which then starts the whole cycle over again. Coming off the boiler, boiler tubes, you have two copper pipes, one for the flow leading to the radiator, and one for the return that leads from the radiator.